What we're gonna look at now is how to add a little bit more style, a little bit more class to our pivot table, make it look a little prettier. Now, every pivot table when it's created actually already has a style applied to it. And basically what that means is a style is a prepackaged set of formatting. It's what controls the fact that the header row is shaded and the, uh, the way that things actually display inside the pivot table. Well, here's the kind of cool thing is if you click inside your pivot table somewhere and you go to the pivot table tools design tab, you'll notice over here that there is a whole bunch of pivot table styles. And if you click the little down arrow at the very bottom right hand corner, you'll see that we have this massive gallery of all kinds of things. Now, what's really cool about this gallery is that if you're clicked inside your pivot table, which you have to be to be able to pull up this tab, when you mouse over these, you'll see that you actually get a live preview on your data of how that pivot table style might look. So that's kind of cool. You can really start quickly jumping in and taking a look around to decide what you actually want to do. If there's a style that speaks to you more than some others, there's some real dark ones here and, and different things, um, then that's fine. Now I'm going to leave it on the default style for right now because I want to show you a couple of other little pieces here. On the same tab, we have the ability to control the way that certain elements affect our pivot table styles. Let's say, for example, that I wanted banded rows. If I click on this, you'll notice that every other row in my pivot table ends up with a little bit of shading. For massive pivot tables, this is really handy because now we can actually start having a visual indicator when we're trying to trace our lines across, especially if it gets printed, so that we don't lose our place as we're looking across. We can also go with banded columns, and banded columns will shade them down. Now, you don't have to use them both. We could take banded rows off and just go with banded columns. We could turn off our column headers if we wanted so they're not shaded or we could, I think it looks better with them on. The other thing that I want you to notice as I'm changing these elements is watch the style gallery over here as we turn on banded rows. You can see that our live previews now start giving us a preview of how it might look with different styles. This one here doesn't look too different, or maybe it does. Let's try it. We'll click on this guy here, and we'll go and we'll turn off the banded columns. Oh, okay, so there's lines that go down on this one. Banded rows puts lines across. Maybe that's not exactly what I want. I'll try a different style. Maybe I feel like going into one of the really dark ones. How about this guy here? And we can see what will end up happening or what ends up changing as we start moving through these particular options. So not quite so black or a little bit lighter. Um, maybe take the row headers off. Lots of different options and choices that we have to play around with using the built-in styles gallery.